And finally tonight, we take you to the church of San Luigi, or St. Louis, home of Rome's French community. It's located in the historic city center. The parish is a magnificent example of Baroque architecture. Today it serves French Catholics as well as tourists and pilgrims. It also houses masterpieces by the great Italian painter Caravaggio. Those paintings feature St. Matthew. Father Will Conker joins us from Rome. He's the chaplain of this famous church. You welcome the French religious community and pilgrims. What is your mission? Our mission is, as you just said, to welcome the pilgrims, welcome the tourists. Many people come into our church simply because they've heard of three very, very famous paintings that are there and they don't really know much more. And so we have a whole program of visits and trying to welcome people and turn those who just come as tourists into pilgrims of faith so that they may you know, walk on an itinerary of faith and come closer to Christ. And your church is a popular stop for tourists because of the paintings of Caravaggio inside. Uh, can you tell us about those works and how they touch the visitors? Well, there's three paintings uh, representing the call, inspiration, and martyrdom of St. Matthew. Three beautiful paintings painted by Caravaggio, who's one of the greatest painters of the Italian Renaissance. The three paintings are extremely intense and they're, in a way, something that get back to you as a mirror. You look at what's happening and you cannot but ask yourself the question, is Christ asking me that question? Is Christ asking me, will you follow me? All of us in the end, we're all tax collectors, we're all people like Matthew, we're all bent over ourselves, we're all taken by our jealousy and our sin. And Christ comes and shows us mercy. And as you know, Pope Francis went to that church and that's where he picked up his motto of his pontificate, Miserando Aquil Eligendo, chosen by God's mercy. And that's what we hope all our visitors can hear as they come into our church. You are chosen by God's mercy. Open up to his love and he will change your life. And, and you're being called yourself to a big change. We understand you're moving to Cambodia in October to do mission work. What will you be doing there? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's a great mission. I mean, there's a big mission to be done in Cambodia. I'm part of a society called the Paris Foreign Mission Society, set up 360 years ago, just in back of us, right here in St. Peter's by the Pope, who saw a great need after the persecutions of Christians in Japan to set up a new missionary society and to send missionary bishops to set up a local clergy, a local clergy in Asia to serve their people. And so I'm part of that society. In Cambodia, we've been there for many years. The recent years have been terrible, absolutely terrible. I'm sure your viewers know about the terrible communist regime that devastated that country. The Khmer Rouge with Pol Pot genociding their own people and killing, obviously, so many Christians. Almost all Christians, all priests were killed. And when our first missionaries were allowed back into the country, almost secretly in the 90s, well, they had to start everything from scratch. Now the church has never grown so fast in Cambodia some missionaries have done an amazing, amazing work like translating the Bible into the local Khmer language, uh, setting up new churches. The church is a church of catechumens, so all of them are, you know, RCIA Christians. And it's just incredible to see what's happening in Cambodia. And there's still so much to be done and so many people who want to know more about Christ and His church and who is this God of love. And Father Will Conquer, you're going to be going right into the heart of that mission and spreading that message of mercy and love to the people of Cambodia. Thank you so much for your time. You're the chaplain of the Church of St. Louis of the French. Thank you for joining us today. I'll just say one last thing, if I may. That call that I have, it's not just for me, it's for any of your viewers. And we need a new generation of missionaries. I'm not the only one. And people who are viewing this need to hear that call in their life. They need to answer that call. So many of us don't watch EWTN. So many of us are waiting for new disciples of Christ to meet them, to encounter them, and to come to them to say that the love of God has come to them today. Like Christ came to Matthew, we need missionaries to bring out that good news to the people of the world today.